Hello everybody, uh, this is Nerdiversal, right before the video. I just want to let you guys know that the sound quality in this clip is absolutely fucking atrocious. Um, so just bear with me and um, let's get on to the ramen. But what are they hiding? <laughs> what are they hiding? Hello everybody, um, it's fucking Nerdiversal. So this weekend, uh, oh, we're taking- fucking Nerdiversal. So we're going to LA this weekend. Um, and just so LA, I, I live in a small-ish city. It's not that tiny, but we don't have that much ramen. We have a lot, we have a lot of ramen, but they're not that great. We're going to LA where they have just the fucking top notch of ramen. And I love ramen. See, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love ramen. So um, we're gonna go try it out and I'm gonna record some of the places that we're going. So we should be going to this place called Menno. And um, that's one that I saw online that a lot of people liked. Daikokuya is one that get talked about a lot, so we're gonna go there too. And then recommended to me by a friend was Sujita Ramen. Um, so we're gonna go hit that place up too. So, um, hope you guys enjoy. Here we are in LA. My, I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get some parking tickets for us um, so we can park here legally and not get towed away. But look at these fucking buildings, dude. I've never been in a big city like this before. My my city has like a few tall buildings and like they're not nearly this tall. These are tall. There's the Avengers Tower over there. I mean, not really, but like it could be in theory because it's tall enough. All right, so we're at Menno right now and it's our very first day. Um, so, hold on. So I ordered the, uh, the house special because I feel like that'd be the best measure of like how good this place is, but I hear it's really good. So now we're just gonna wait for the ramen. Some takoyaki for an appetizer. There it is. Aren't they beautiful? Pretty broth, pretty meat. Sexy egg, that's gonna be good. Behold, sexy noodle. This is the tonkotsu bak that my boyfriend ordered. That one's really, really good. This one is mine right here. This is the tokushima, which was their house specialty. Also, like, they're so delicious. And then these noodles, they just kind of hold onto the broth so perfectly. And they're like firm too, which I really, really like. Here's their piece of pork. Ooh, it looks so tender. That is so tender. That is so tender. super creamy and super it, it almost has like a sweetness to it and like a porky flavor but it's so good so that was Menno ramen um that shit was awesome that was like the best ramen that i've had so far because the one that we have in the valley is like it's good but it's not as good as that so tomorrow we're gonna be trying either daikokuya or tsujita ramen okay so now we're at daikoku ramen um daikokuya actually uh, it's kind of cheating because we're not in LA right now. We're in El Monte because that's a little closer to where we're staying right now. Uh, and we're tired as hell, so we came to this one instead, but it's basically the same thing. They're all the same daikokuya. So we actually just ordered, and we ordered the, their specialty, which was the daikoku ramen. Um, again, because it's like the best taste of what they have. So now we're just gonna wait for the ramen and the gyoza that we ordered. I don't know if this is level or if I'm tripping. at this we just got it it's another tonkotsu and look it's got the swirl chashu which i really like so um let's dig in break open this egg right here oh oh that's sexy that's hella sexy Yeah, it kind of tastes, it tastes like sesame oil. Honestly, 
first bite. It's not super tender, but it's still pretty good. So we ended up coming back to the house because um, if I'm being honest, I had some not good words to say about Daikokuya. It was good, it was good, and maybe I'm just speaking because I had menno first and it was real, real good, but this, it, it wasn't as good. It, there wasn't, there wasn't as much cream to it, like it wasn't as creamy and thick. The egg was really good, the egg was like beautiful. Um, and although it kind of fell off like each other, like it kind of came apart really easily, the pork wasn't that good, the chashi wasn't that good. The noodles, they kind of tasted like they still had flour on them, like uh, they were still thick. They almost tasted like kind of undercooked. They were good, I, I liked their texture, but the, the taste was, um, it just was too noodly, if that makes sense. The broth tasted a little bit peppery. It didn't really, it didn't really strike me as different. But I still, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy the bowl. It was a good bowl, especially after a long day. Um, and it was a really good priced bowl. I think it was like 11 50 to $12. Was that, is that true, babe? Yeah. $12 for a ramen, um, which is a really good price because they do give you a lot and they give me more than Menno did. It was good, but it could have been better. All right, everybody, so our last day here. We're hitting up the last place and it was recommended to us and that's why we're hitting it up last so hopefully it's the best. So we're gonna go try it out right now. So we just ordered right now and I know I'm supposed to be rating ramen but I really wanted to try tsukimen so I'm gonna do that and my boyfriend is getting uh, ramen so it's excited So here's the tsukimen, they brought it out hella fast by the way like 5 minutes after we ordered but this shit is sexy and This is the ramen right here I <laughs> What are your mushrooms are bomb? Um, the other places we went to, they didn't really have mushrooms. So, finally glad to have mushrooms. Oh, that's fucking delicious. Holy shit. It's very fat. It's very fat. And it's like hella salty and like, it's got a lot of flavor in it. So I don't know about trying just the broth by itself because I know it's supposed to be very thick to come in. Um, so I'm just gonna give it a taste and then we'll try it with like the noodles and the, and the meat and stuff. Ooh, you can already see how thick that is. Look at that. Okay. Oh, that's thick. It tastes like, um, it tastes hella like dashi, but that's real good. So these noodles are a lot thicker than the one that they give you for the ramen, but. It's more than <laughs> so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and dip this chashu that I haven't tried yet. My boyfriend already took a bite of it, but he said it was good, so let's see. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's fucking delicious. So it was like hella fatty. Where, the, where there's fat, it was just like melting your mouth. And the meat was so tender. Let's try these noodles now. <laughs> it's a really bad in there with it. Let's go. That's delicious. The noodles are so chewy and they're so good. All right, so let's open up this egg. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let's try this bad boy out. That's delicious too. Okay, so now I'm gonna try my boyfriend's ramen. Oh yeah, that's good. He grabs onto the broth real, real well. Oh yeah, that's real good. So I'm gonna finish the rest of this and then I will check in later with you guys. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. So we got matcha from a matcha bar. You can hardly see it. Oh, there we go. That's better lighting. Matcha. <sighs> All right, so we in the car. <laughs> right after we just ate uh, Sujita ramen. Okay, first impression. It was good, especially the tsukamen. The tsukamen was really good, and the ramen was really good. The only thing is that I think after a little while, they start to become too much. Um, so this is probably just like a personal preference thing, but I felt like the flavor started becoming a little too much by the end of the tsukemen because at first I was like, oh, this tastes like dashi, this is pretty good, this is delicious, and then by the end I was like, holy shit, the fucking dashi in this tsukemen. <laughs> and then in the ramen it was like, oh, this tastes kind of like soy and like mushroomy, and then by the end it just smelled mushroom, I think it was, was just kind of overtaking the bowl because I don't know if you've ever 
tried black ear mushrooms, but they are stinky. So yeah, it was it was really good, but it just over over a little bit of time, I think it was a little bit too much. Okay, babe. Uh, on the count of three, we'll say who we thought was, was the, the best, best ramen. Okay. Yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Yours. Menno. The best we've had in LA, though, Menno. Yeah, Menno. Menno was really good. It had kind of a sweetness to it. It was fatty. It was creamy. Really, the best tonkotsu that I've ever had. The noodles were just on point. The toppings were on point. Yeah, that shit. That shit was delicious. So if you guys want to come to LA and eat some ramen, I highly recommend Menno. And that concludes today's video. Sujita had some amazing sukumen though. Yeah, honestly. The sukumen was so good. The sukumen was hella good. It, like I said, it just becomes a little bit too much, but it was hella good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, if you guys like stuff like this, subscribe. I like ramen. Maybe I'll make more if y'all subscribe. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.